for me, it all starts with our design, of course. The written word goes only so far. It's up to the minds of these amazing people and people like them all over the world to dream up the worlds that we'll visit when we enter the cinema. Three years ago, I had the great pleasure of meeting Mayor Yang, the mayor of Gwangmyong City in Korea. He is an extraordinary individual focused on bringing creativity and art as one of the pillars of his economic growth within his city. And that has allowed an amazing collection of young people to be part of a concept design competition. But this is no ordinary design competition. This is set below the ground in the world's largest man-made cave system, the Gwangmyong Caves. This year, anyone across the country can compete and the winner in turn will be taken to Korea, spend a wonderful week being hosted by the mayor and his team and then being part of the forum and this amazing collective of concept designers there in Korea. It was a really good experience and I met a lot of great people and had a lot of cool dinners with people that were much higher up than me, so absolutely fantastic experience. A young man called Tahiwi, who we met through last year's competition, has ultimately interviewed with us and is now working with us on a number of international projects. And it's wonderful to think that this forum has also benefited Wellington students beyond the opportunity to go to the competition. So this year it's a really fun brief. Imagine Korea as a country where petroleum-based fuel didn't exist and everything is still a steam-powered, industrialized world. What is your version of a Korean, Asian, steampunk world? I look forward to one of you joining me on this amazing experience up to Gwangmyong, meeting the mayor, meeting all the other young concept designers and being part of this extraordinary competition.